Hello, hello, today I'm going to show you an awesome unboxing video by me for you. Today, let me introduce you the Turner UHF Wireless Microphone TW820. Oh yeah, that's the name of this wireless microphone set. It is a professional dynamic mic, handheld. Um, it, made, uh, it is made as, out of metal. These are microphones set for karaoke party, church, disc jockey, wedding, meetings, class uses, etc. Because there is a range for the microphones of 200 feet. This, I think, is a lot. And this is enough for me to use. You have a clear and a present sound quality. The built-in high-quality chip and advanced digital decoding technology to reproduce more excellent, clear, pure and full sound. Built-in LNA line enters less background noises and hauling in microphone. You have a stable signal. High-grade crystal oscillators is adopted to answer accurate frequency adjustment and stay and, and it will get you a stable signal transferring for uninterrupted signals. The range is up to 60 meters in open space. Up to 15 sets can be used simultaneously because of the frequency. Sturdy and durable materials are built in. The all-metal microphone with steel mesh grill is particularly resistant to impact and corrosion. The receiver box is designed with the LCD display screen. All informations are clearly at a glance. And it is easy to operate. If it is operation correctly, the mix and the receiver will match automatically. And this is right. No other operation is needed. It is not compatible with laptops, iPads, cell phones and AWS receivers. And you will need two times AA batteries. Oh yeah, you will um, get two mics. You will get one receiver. And this is all what you need for it. And of course, you need uh, um, this line to get out of the receiver. You will have a wireless connection to the receiver with the mics. And then you will get out, out of the receiver into your um, accelerator, to your uh, device, which will gain the signal to your um, device like your personal computer or etc. You will need an audio amplifier for it. And then that means the optimum boot order is television, audio amplifier, speaker, receiver, microphone for karaoke, for example. Or um, you will do microphone, receiver, speaker, audio amplifier and then TV. This is a better. Uh, this is the optimum shutdown order. So that means you will get the microphone or switch on the TV, switch on the audio amplifier, switch on the speaker, switch on the sp a receiver. Then the speakers um, will go on, and the amplifier will go on. The TV will go on. Then the switch on the receiver and after this switch on the microphones the microphones will connect in to the receiver and then you can have fun let's have a uh, sing a little bit let, let's perform a little bit etc the receiver will get this information wireless by the microphones and the receiver will give the informations from the microphone to the speakers and the speaker um, will gain them out. Good job. And you will need an amplifier to get more power or to get the signal amplify to the speakers, of course. Awesome. This is awesome. You will need this microphones. And if you have a home theater setup or a television, um, that uh, you will need. And of course, an amplifier. But the amplifier are not so expensive today. So, 
if the receiver will get the information um, to, to the amplifier with a 6.5 millimeter to 6.5 millimeter audio cable, which is included. Oh, that is all what you need. And then you can, oh, there is one thing you have to do. Um, get the two AA batteries inside the mics and then you can perform, start performing easily. Let's install the batteries, okay? So, rotate the bottom side. Oh yeah. Now, you can see two slots for AA batteries, two of them each mic. Install two AA batteries before you need the wireless microphones. And yeah, and do this easy. On the batteries, there is a plus pole and a minus pole. And on this minus and plus pole, you can connect them into the host of the microphone to get the power inside by using them. So here we are at the amplifier, uh, at the receiver, which is included. So when using this device, keep it away from water. It is not waterproof. Use the device in ventilated environment. Keep it away from fire. Since it's a wireless device, please keep it away from other interrupting sources. Don't take apart the device, of course. Please use the standard power supply. High voltage may damage that device. Oh, yeah. And here you can see, here is the receiver itself on the upper side. The receiver will connect to the power supply and it will transform your signal from the speakers um, for um, in the first step to the amplifier. The amplifier will gain the signal and will um, push the signal to the home theater set or to the television. Now switch on. Here you can see this is the screen of your receiver. The receiver has some information on it. The receiver has a receiver antenna, two of them, a power switch, long press mm, for two seconds to turn it on or off, the volume adjustment button for microphone A and the LCD display screen. You have a volume adjusting button for microphone B too, of course. And at the, at the back side, you can see an antenna B and the antenna 1. You will see a BAL connector for A and B, and um, there is an, the mixing and the antenna cable. This is used for the power. So let's dock in the two AA batteries, and here you can see how to switch the frequencies up and down. If you will uh, use so many of these mics in one range, you will go to another frequency area and then they will not interrupt each other. So on the screen of the mic, you can see on the left uh, upper side the uh, battery power. On the right side, you can see how much, um, how much um, um, your wireless connection will get in. And in the center, you will see the frequency, the channel and the megahertz. Oh yeah. To switch on or off your mic, press the button for two seconds for on or off. And then the receiver will get the information from the mic easily. In only one second, you will connect it. On the receiver's displays, there is some more information for you. That means um, if you have the receiver switched on and you connected a mic or two mics for it, then you can read some information on the screen. Also, you can use this, um, um, this upper part if you do not like to spit on your mics, if you're using um, a different uh, persons to get the mic um, um, through them. That means it's better to get this uh, fluffy um, um, surface on it. Oh yeah, and it is better for wind protection. If you have some wind, it is blowing, it's better to use this for a better sound. So 
here we are let's go to connect it now we connect to the receiver immediately this is so easy only switch it on and here we can see microphone number one is connected what you can see on um, here um, this you can see the frequency the frequency is the same on the receiver and on the mic so you can see this is connected right now the other device is not correct connected on here you can see it was not one second to connect we are now in channel 7 you can uh, set the volume up volume down for the mics and like microphone 1 and B awesome easy 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 on the screen you can see on the left side the signal level of the microphone a the second thing is the microphone levels um the volume level of microphone a of course then you can see signal receiver of microphone a and the q and channel if you go to the right side of the, um, the screen you can see a q and channel of um, they're sorry about this. You can see um, the Q and frequency of microphone B. You can see the signal receiver of microphone B, the current channel of microphone B, and the volume level of microphone B. And of course, the signal level of microphone B are available too. So you have all the time so many informations and these important informations for you what you can do with this microphone after this connect the receiver with the 6.5 millimeters audio cable these are not 6.5 it's 6.35 millimeters and then you can connect them to the amplifier and after you connect it to the amplifier you're free to connect to the television or home theater setup and then you can have some fun with that if you have no sound um then check the microphones turn on check it to receive antennas correctly correctly uh, er, um, then if you have no sound uh, check if the receiver is at the minimum volume maybe so go up with the volume center the microphone cannot be turned on then check that the batteries are in a good condition oh yeah and the receiver signal with noise or interference change to another channel by the switch on the mic or check if the receiver distance is in inside the maximum range oh yeah that it is how you can use it and it's really awesome sound thanks for watching please subscribe me give a positive feedback and i hope to see you again on my channel soon soon